Should you sell or rent the home you own right now? Hi, I'm Nick McLean, owner of the Nick McLean Real Estate Group, and in today's marketplaces, marketplace with the high, high prices, everyone was just, just wants to sell, get their equity, use it as a down payment, and buy another home. Not so fast. You should also consider renting your home. I've never met a real estate investor, a successful real estate investor, that said, gosh, I wish I would have sold off all my rentals. No, they actually say, I wish I, wouldn't have, I wish I would never have sold one. I wish I would have held on to all of them or found a way to hold on to all my real estate investments. So as a real estate investor, if you want that passive income, if you want to build wealth through real estate, when it comes to buying another home, like you're moving out of your primary, consider renting. But first, you need to know, do you have the purchasing power to buy another home and hold on to your primary residence? or your current primary residence because you probably have a mortgage. So now you have two mortgages, right? Now in lending, if you can actually get a tenant in place with the long-term lease and a deposit, they can waive some of that debt off based on the incoming revenue. So that's step number two. Talk to a, step one, talk to a lender. How, what's your purchasing power look like? Can you make it happen by holding on to both? Two, what is the rental rate of your home? What can I get? Number three is look at your home objectively. Would I actually buy my home as a rental? Does that make sense? Like, I know I love my home and I want to hold on to it because I have sentimental value, but should I own this as a rental? These questions can easily be answered by a professional in property management. And Christy at M Property Management at our company will give you a free rental analysis to tell you what it would rent for and objectively tell you. You, you know, this isn't a good long-term solution because of the wear and tear. Sometimes your home's way too nice for the marketplace. So you, those are things to consider when renting or, or selling your home. Now, do, do you have it in you to own rentals? Now, do you want to deal with tenants, tenant screening, upgrades? Do you have the money in case something goes wrong? A water heater goes out, dishwasher breaks. Uh, the wind comes through and rips off part of your, your roof and you have a little bit of leak and you don't want to do an insurance claim. Do you have it in you? Well, property management will take care of the hassle and that's why you want to talk to end property management, but do you have the additional resources? So all things, all great things to consider because on the other end of holding on to it is you're paying, someone else is paying your mortgage for you. So you're building, you're building wealth really, your net value is going up every month that you own. I personally own rentals and it's my greatest source of wealth building in my entire portfolio of what I own. So I have stocks, you know, 401k from uh, other companies and an IRA and that just, I have a little bit in there, but it was through rentals that have, I have people have allowed, paid off my mortgages for me that I've grown some wealth. So if you'd like more information on whether or not your home would be a good rental in today's market, reach out to our property management company. 255-8069 and we'll objectively tell you whether or not it's a good rental for you. But if you want to talk to a lender, definitely do it. We recommend C First Financial. I'll put their information in this post and determine, figure it out. Do you guys want to sell your home or do you want to hold on to it as a rental?